Okay, folks, Larry Pesaveno for TFNA, and I posted the chart here of the Treasury notes. This is the largest of all the futures markets. It's about six times bigger than number two, which is the bonds. And as you can see here, we are completing a large ABCD up here at uh, 115. Now, we haven't taken out uh, last week's high. I don't believe we have. We might have just done that. Uh, yeah, we did. We took it out by one tick. Anyway, we got the Federal Reserve coming in here on Tuesday and Wednesday, and of course, everybody thinks they're going to drop the rates, and usually when that happens, that's a very negative thing. We've seen that in the past. I've been posting charts about that for quite some time, and then if you take a look at the notes, uh, along with the bonds, the bonds will do that right now, so you'll be able to see what they're doing. Hold on one second here. The bonds are almost ready to make a new high also. But not quite yet. It'll probably be waiting for for tomorrow uh, or the next day in the bonds. Tuesday or Wednesday would be my guess because the notes have taken out these highs. We have not done that in the bonds as of yet. What I'll be watching for is the ABCD pattern to complete up here, probably maybe 129, 130 with some real uh, excitement that could go on with the dropping of rates. But folks, the dropping of rates is not a very positive thing. If we go back and look what happened in 2008, I'll bring this up here. You'll see there was a 2008. You see we made a slightly higher high, and the Dow Jones has done that. I don't know whether the S&P cash has done it because I had a computer problem today. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Anyway, uh, um, my computer fro well, doesn't make any difference. And anyway, you see we made a higher high, and then it dropped, and of course interest rates went poo, straight down uh, after that time. So you got to pay close. And stocks dropped, of course. That's what we're talking about. And, of course, interest rates uh, actually went up instead of going down. Well, they went down, but the reason why they went down was business was slowing down. That's what they were basically trying to trying to tell us. So, anyway, that's what we're watching here. Today, our guest is going to be uh, Norm Winsky. Uh, tomorrow, we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on. And then on Wednesday, uh, we're not going to have a guest because we're going to have so much going on with the Fed that I think we'll just spend all our time doing that. So stay with us. We'll be right back.